going to the vet this morning. Yeah, we're actually late. He has been sneezing a lot and kind of coughing, I think. Well, he's making a sound that I think is coughing. Everything actually is here. Whoops. Two cars parked and their boot open and they're having like a COVID safe meet and greet. So cute. Well, he didn't pee in food yet, so I hope it's gonna be okay. Okay, see you there. could do the exam really nicely without any problems he didn't scream if you all know what the shiva scream is he didn't have one and he was really patient with all the handling his ears his eyes now his bottom nothing it was really really perfect 10 on 10 so basically they told me he has kind of like um kind of a cold slash flu she said that symptoms can last one week up to three weeks, which is not great news for me. Yeah, you're hungry. I'm actually flying back home in a week and I'll be leaving him here for three weeks, meaning that he'll still have symptoms when I'm gone, which is not, not ideal. He is probably contagious right now so he can't really see his friends which sucks because I wanted him to see everyone before I leave um, go to the dog park but we won't be doing that anytime soon and I don't want to give that to any other um, puppies around him if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm making breakfast because I am starving and voila, the sandwich, morning sandwich. Okay, so this is what she gave me. So basically it's springtime, so he has to get his meds against ticks. This is what she gave me. It's beef flavored and the name is Mexgird Spectra. So I have to give it to him actually today. And then the other one will be in a month. And then she gave me okay, this is his eye droplets um, because he has 
green goop coming from his eyes so she doesn't want any infection coming from that so we have eye droplets to be given to him three two to three times a day for a week last but not least we have his antibiotics he has to be on antibiotics she didn't hear um any weird sounds coming from his lungs but she did notice that he's really congested in his nose and he keeps on sneezing every probably two minutes and coughing as well so <laughs> mister has to take antibiotics um before eating his food and this basically she told me is like kind of rinsing the mouth after he takes it because when um, dogs take pills they might irritate their um, trachea so I've got to do that and she also recommended to give him gastrointestinal puppy food I got three cans which I'm gonna give him right now because he didn't have his breakfast yet that said I need to give him his pills first they did break it down for me half okay so basically half a pill every 12 hours for seven days so today is March 20 Alexa mm -hmm. what date are we today it's Saturday, March 26, 2022. 26th. So until April 10th, 3rd, 4th, no, 3rd, April 3rd. So right before I leave. Good. If you no 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 this is not your supper. Your bottom is in the way. You can't have coffee, you're gonna die. Nope. If you watched our previous training video, you'll know that um, breakfast <laughs> breakfast is basically training and since he can't really have kibbles right now. Well he can, it's just that he had wet food for breakfast. So I am going to use treats for training um, in a bit. But I don't want anything too intense for him because they told me he needs to rest. We can't go for long walks anymore. Because you gotta rest. Doctor's note. Rest. Yep. to grab your kappa because the next few minutes is going to be a bit just talking because I am talking about vet bills um, it's one thing that I researched extensively before getting um, myself a dog so I thought I'd share because some things are unexpected and also there's so much you can learn from YouTube, from Google but I thought that I'd share my own experience because not everything is online, unfortunately. So here we are. I've got myself a hibiscus raspberry tea from Stash. It's so good. You should try it. 
Since Aoki has been quite sick for the past few days, I thought it'd be the best time to introduce uh, what you need to plan. I know that some of you are going to be parents very soon. And I also got a few questions from people who are actually looking to get a Shiba in the next few months. Again, this is based on my own experience, so really take it with a pinch of salt. It's not exactly what will happen for you, but it is kind of a guideline of what to expect in terms of timing, the costs associated to um, vets, to dogs, puppies in general, and yeah. So I'll start with the beginning. Aoki had already um, got his first shot when I got him at eight weeks old. Um, so first shot is the basics, which include, I got my notes here, the stamper, hepatitis, as well as the first shot of parvovirus. And this is given approximately around seven to eight weeks. So for the first round of shots, um, it is about around $50 Canadian, which is, I believe, to be $45 USD. Depending, of course, on the vet you're visiting, the clinic you're visiting. But for Aoki, it was approximately $50, which I did not pay. It was covered um, as a package when I got him. Then when he was 12 weeks old, this is where I myself got to take him to the vet. So at 12 weeks is the second round of shots, which covers the basics again. Also have to add Lyme disease, as well as Bordetella, which is the vaccine against kennel cuff, as commonly known. So $50 for the basics, $25 for the Lyme disease vaccine, and then $25, $30 for the Bordetella. And then the third round of shots is at 16 weeks. This again, boosters for basics. You also have to count um, rabies and deworming as well. And then on top of that round of vaccines, you have to consider the um, consultation fee. So for me, it was about $70 to $80 Canadian. I got his last shots of vaccines uh, last month. The total bill for me was $220 Canadian dollars for all the boosters and new vaccines um, for his 16 weeks vaccine round. The other thing that's highly important is getting your puppy a microchip. Aoki had his microchip again when I got him, so the breeder did take care of that for me. Um, so I don't know how much this costs, to be honest with you. So if you calculate all the shots, all the vaccines, at uh, eight weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, it'll give you a total of da, 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 around 650 Canadian dollars. You also have to plan for his supplements if they need supplements. I know a puppy that had a paw problem um, and he is currently taking supplements. You have to count that in your budget as well. Um, another thing that you need to plan is uterine spaying fee which is, I think, from my research, around 250, 300 Canadian. This morning was an expected visit to the vet, but then again, those happen, they will happen 100%. This morning, just the exam itself was $75 Canadian, and then he had been prescribed antibiotics, which is $25 and then he also has his eye droplets which is 31 Canadian is getting warmer and so ticks are coming back alive and dogs can get ticks on their fur and then get Lyme disease and since I'm planning to go hike uh, paddle etc etc will be outdoors a lot so I decided to get those tablets against that and it is monthly so it starts from now march until probably september october depending on the temperature around 288 dollars 
expensive but it's worth it i mean if you are outdoors a lot it's definitely worth it right you don't want your dog to get lyme disease every two weeks when i get my paycheck i dedicate kind of like a certain amount of um, money and put it aside for um anything i need to pay for alki that is even planned and expected anything this brings us to pet insurance some of you asked if Alki has pet insurance, I got Alki pet insurance, I got Suki pet insurance. Both of them are with True Panion, not sponsored. True Panion really covers the unexpected, similarly to when you get health insurance or home insurance. So basically, um, if they have any injury, for my bill this morning, the um, exam itself will not be covered that said they will cover the meds he has so the eye droplets and the antibiotics so that's it for my breakdown of vet bills from seven weeks up to now let me know if you have any questions any comments i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did click the thumbs up and if you want to see more from alki and i subscribe to our channel we post every week so thank you for watching and see you all next time